Well, today I have a biography about Alta Wace, written by Deborah Hopkinson. It's called Girl Wonder, a baseball story in nine innings. I must have been born to play baseball because Pop says I was only two when I hurled a corn cob at an old tomcat. Chasing my favorite hen. They say I threw so hard that cob shot across the barnyard and bopped him on the head. John the handyman whistled in surprise. Would you look at that, Doc, he said to Pop. Your little girl's got some arm on her. And that old tomcat, he leaped like lightning and never pestered my chickens again. My own first memory is John tossing a baseball to me. The glove on my hand is big as one of Mama's prized sunflowers. Somehow, even then, I could make that hard round ball zing through the air. By the time I was six, I'd thrown for hours. Pop pinned a target on a bale of hay and told me, get ready, wind up, and let her fly. Most times, I'd hit the bullseye while John and Pop just shook their heads and exclaimed, Alta, you're a real girl wonder. Nothing could keep me from baseball. Summers I played with the boys in town, and even in winter I got up early to practice. Oh, that barn was icy. The cows breathed frosty puffs into the air. They turned their saucer eyes to watch me. My first fans. But the bitter Ohio cold could put out the fire inside me. I threw that ball again and again, till all my muscles knew what to do as easy as singing my ABCs. By the time I was 17, I'd struck out every boy in town. You're almost a lady, said my friends. Isn't it time you quit playing games? Quit, I cried. I haven't even started. Still, every once in a while, I wondered if they might be right. Then Pop and I took a trip to Vermilion to see the sights. I spotted some fellows playing ball on the green. They look so sharp, I itched to join them. Afternoon, gentlemen. Mind if I play? I asked, sweet as honey. Sure thing, miss, they smirked. Don't worry, we'll toss it to you nice and gentle. Well, I threw that ball back so hard, their faces glowed beet red with shame, and their hands must have stung right through their gloves. Wow, they cried, shaking their heads. You should play for the Independence, our town semi-pro team. Where do I sign up? I replied. When the Independence crusty old coach took one look at my long blue skirt, he spit on the ground. Go home, Missy. You're a girl. This is baseball. Go home? Not a chance. Suddenly I grabbed onto an idea. Just sign me up, coach, I said, smiling sweetly. And as sure as strike out as my middle name, I guarantee you'll sell lots of tickets. Folks are curious to see a girl play. The coach pulled down his cap, but not before I saw his eyes light up, like he'd just hit a home run out of the park. I could read his line of thinking, clear as catcher signs. Girls can't throw. Girls can't play baseball. But this gal just might bring in some dough. At last, he stuck out his hand. It's a deal, Miss Wace. You've got one chance to show your stuff, but you better not make a fool of me. Finally, the big game. The stands are full. The whole town's here. Coach wipes the sweat from his face. Sure you don't want to play right field? But I'm already on my way to the mound. The crowd leans forward. Are folks on my side? or just itching to hiss and jeer. Play ball. The first batter's big, a mean, glaring bull. For a flash, I panic. Maybe coach is right. My pitch is wide. Ball one. The fans twitter. I shake off my nerves, crack my chewing gum, and stare him down. Now I'm even when he fans. One ball, one strike. Inside on the next, just barely. Two balls, one strike. 
I chance the outside corner. Whoosh! The big bull cuts the air. We're even again. The crowd buzzes. I try my knuckler next, but it drops too low. Three balls, two strikes, full count. The batter's surprised I've gotten this far. He digs in, mad. The crowd falls silent, all eyes on me. No different from my fans in the barn, I tell myself. I reach inside and pull out my best stuff. I always did have a pretty fast, fair, sorry, pretty fair fastball. Crack, he hits it. Looks like a sizzling line drive, a sure base hit. But wait, it rockets right to me. And my gloves in the air, quick as light. Got it, he's out. The place explodes with cheers. Nice catch, girl wonder. And from the dugout, I hear Coach yell, didn't I always say she could do it? I smile, never had so much fun. I nod to my teammates, one down, two to go. Let's get them, boys. I strike the next batter out. I pitch five innings, then play first base. The final score is four to three us. The Independence win. We keep winning too, all summer long. They even run special trains from Cleveland so fans can see the new star pitcher, me, the girl wonder, the girl who can throw, the girl who can play baseball. I played another season and even pitched in a major league stadium and always held my own against the best. But now my playing days are done. I'm too busy being a doctor, like Pop, only girl in the class of 1914. But just the other day, I spotted a little gal, cap pulled down, overalls full of mud. Hey, you with the glove, I yelled, come on over. Did you ever hear the story? of the girl wonder. And like I always say, if the author writes a note to the reader, you should read it. It contains information that didn't quite fit in the story, but one she wants you to know. So here is the author note from Deborah Hopkinson. Girl Wonder was inspired by the life of baseball pioneer Alta Wace, born February 9th, 1890 in Raggersville, Ohio. In 1907, at age 17, Alta pitched for a semi-pro all-male team, the Vermilion Independence. The next season, her father became a co-owner and it was renamed the Wace All-Stars. Alta went on to become a doctor, graduating in 1914 from Starling Ohio Medical College, a predecessor to the Ohio State University College of Medicine in Columbus, the only woman in her class she died in 1964. Let's Girl by Janice Behrens, a nonfiction book about baseball. Play ball! A baseball game is about to begin. The umpire says, play ball! The umpire makes sure all the players follow the rules. One team bats while the other team is on the field. The pitcher gets ready to throw the ball. That's called the wind-up. The best pitchers can throw a ball faster than a speeding car. The pitcher throws from an area of the field called the pitcher's mound. If the batter swings and misses the ball, it's called a strike. Three strikes and you're out. That means the batter's turn is over. If the batter misses, the catcher is there to catch the ball. Players on the other team try to catch the ball. If someone catches the ball, the batter is out. Sometimes the batter hits a fly ball. That's when the ball goes high in the air. A glove helps players catch the ball. Without it, catching the ball would hurt. If no one catches the ball, the batter tries to run around the bases. He runs to first, second, and third base. Then comes home plate. When the batter gets to home plate, he scores. Sometimes players slide into base. A slugger is a batter who hits the ball really hard. 
What happens when a slugger is at bat? When a slugger swings and hits, you hear a crack. The sweet spot is the best spot on the bat to hit the ball. The slugger hits the ball out of the park. He runs around the bases without stopping. That's called a home run. The fans cheer. Their team scored the most runs. They won the game. Catcher, batter. Batting helmet, bat, batting glove, team jersey, and cleats. Let's talk baseball. Hi, my name is Braylon and this is my sister Kaylee. Kaylee. I am going to be here to talk about softball. Um, so, where do you want to start with Kaylee? This is my bat. Okay, you want to show them how to swing it? Yes. Go. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I swing my bat. You want to tell them what, kind, what ounces your bats are and how they, why they have ounces? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yes. Okay. This one's smaller and this is big. So there are different sizes of balls so like little people can be like can use the smaller ones so like the bigger people can use like the bigger ones. You use gloves now? protection for your head so you don't get knocked out <clears throat> by the ball. Okay. Let's see your face mask. Now, you wear a face mask for rec ball or traveling ball? Traveling ball. And you can wear it for rec, only if you want to. Okay, I'm gonna do batting gloves now. Okay. You have to put it on. Okay, so these, um, these, like, when you hit the ball and it's like close to, it won't hurt your hands. Because if it hurts your hands, it'll do bad shit. And your thumb would get hurt too. Okay, you want to tell them, you forgot to tell them the answer. Okay, so there's two different sizes of bats. One's a t-ball bat and one's like, like an older bat. And they have ounces. The ounces are for the heaviness and the like the lightness. So that one's like lighter than this one. Okay. And you both started with the smaller one? Yes. Okay. So this one is 25, 13, 25 ounces and 13 inches. Oh, no, sorry. 13 ounces and 13 inches. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. This one is... 15 ounces and 28 inches. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to talk about our uniforms that we have. We don't really have our jerseys right now because the board get us put something on it. These are just okay. our t-shirts. So, this is our shirt. 
is our team is called Lady Lightning. Um, that's our team, me and her team. And these are called ball pants. They keep you from your legs getting hurt. And these are called socks from your, so your um, legs don't get scratched from sliding. I am. This is a belt. Oh, hold your pants, your ball pants up so they don't fall down if they're too big. And these are your cleats that, um, so when you're sliding, it doesn't like hurt your feet. Because if you did have cleats, it would probably ruin your shoes. And you have to slide everywhere. Yeah, and you have to slide everywhere. That's what we wear for to play ball. And we also have our jerseys, but these aren't our jerseys. But these are just our t-shirts because our jerseys are getting done again. They have to get a sponsor's name on them. What does a sponsor do? A sponsor does, like it gives us money for so our ball. My team. turn to bat in this, I'm going to show you how to hit the ball and how to stand. And strikes are outs and stuff. Okay, so. This is how my dad taught me to hit. My dad taught me to stand at the from the tippy top, from the second second corner. So I'll put my foot right here and right here, and I'll I'll bend my knees. Is it? It was a ball because it hit the plate. Yes, it hey. <laughs> so um, I have one ball and one strike. So the count is one one. And so, what were you going to tell me about how some people hit the ball or try to hit the ball? Some people hit the ball like like this, but that's not how I hit. So I um. You wait for the perfect pitch. And then what happens if that you're out? I'm out. I would go back to the dugout and my next teammate will come in and hit. How many outs do you get? You only get three outs. And then what do you do? And all three outs, after all three outs, you will switch. Like, your team will go out to the outfield. Then the other team will come and hit. And... So since I got out, I would be going to sit down. <laughs> and what's a dugout? A dugout is where you put your stuff in. A dugout is where you put your bags, your bags and your Gatorade and all your your stuff. And once you go and you are really tired, you'd go sit down and you'd get your drink and get a drink of it if you're tired. And then, well, you have to take off your helmet first. <laughs> uh, you take out your hum helmet, well, oh my gosh, this. And you'd put it down and you'd put your bat down by your helmet or in your bag. Um, And then, and then you cheer on for your other friends to hit the ball. And My name is Raylan and you know what I got? What do you got? I got a team that's hotter than hot. How hot are they? You can say hotter than that. Hotter than a fire that burns below. How do you How know? Do you know?
one right here. Got it, got yeah, it, got got it. It. And then, Mom, let's do one where she catches it and the person who's running the second and she has to hurry up and go tag the second. Now, why do you touch the base? So the person will get out. Okay. Do you and want to step in the middle of your base? No. no. Where do you want to step? On the side. Okay. So now we're going to talk about the different positions. I'm at pitchers, and this is the girls' pitchers, and this is the boys' pitchers now. And my sister's over there. Because? Because, so, because there's like a different, there's the cover, the cover the air. So when the batter hits the ball and it comes this way, you stop it and you can either throw it to first or I can run over here to my base and touch it. If there's a player at first. Can you show me how you would touch that? Now, why do you put your foot on the, the side? So, so the players, when it comes, they don't trip over your foot. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, so, do you have to touch them if, they, if you have the ball? Yes, it depends if it's a force out or not. What's a force out? Force out is where there's a runner on first and there's a runner on second. And the runner will... So you get the ball. Yeah, and you'll get the ball, and the runner will run, and you'll have to touch them on the base because it's a forced out. So. Okay. And what? Where do we go from second? We go to shortstop. Okay. And shortstop is between. So you work, guys work together? Yes. So. So then what, after shortstop, what's the next position? Third. Third is where, where the coaches stand over here and the players can like go talk to them. Sometimes if like there's like a problem or something. And you play. Right here. Uh -huh. uh, you play right here. So 
right next to the base, like the runner can run and charge at you, and you can be in their line that you can get hit by. And then um, my sister's at home. She can, I guess, tell you about home. So. The catcher he plays behind home plate. And what do you, what does the catcher do? Does it, when the pitcher pitches the ball, what does the catcher do? It catches the ball. And then throws it back to the pitcher. And the right field has to hurry up and run up and get the ball to throw it the first so the first baseman can um um stay there on first so we can throw the ball to him so that's this part and so my sister is over there at center field <laughs> So this position is center field. center field, and you're behind what base? Second. Second base? And so if you get the ball, where do you throw it? To second. And we catch pop flies here. And after center field is? Um, left. left field? Good. Thank you. behind third base and you can also catch pop flies out here <laughs> and, and this is the last base we have so like the last base you can it's not really like a base the reason why these don't have bases out here is because um because it's the like the like you pop catch pop flies and you, the balls roll into your glove and you throw it to like third or like so if I'm over here at left field I'd throw my ball to third if Kaylee were whoever was out there by center field she'd throw it to second I was clear over there by right field I would throw it to first that's the reason why we don't have bases out here and so this is the end of the bases so um and that's called a foul ball This is first base. And uh, she huh? ran out and she turned around so she wouldn't get hit by a person or something. And, so, okay. and now she's running towards.
And where's third base? Okay. Weren't those girls a wonder?